All right, hello everybody. I'm just going to show you how to get started on your first song in waveform. Um, so, uh, first thing when you start it up, you should see a screen like this. Um, here's where you can choose the kind of music that you're creating. Um, I don't use any of these yet. Um, now down here, though, audio settings are very important. Make sure you know the output is, you know, your your speakers or your headphones. Um, whatever you got connected and then also the input um, choose your microphone whatever you whatever you have uh, connected um, choose you can choose it right there so I'm, I'm just choosing that one <clears throat> all right and and that's it for 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 getting sort of started I'm just gonna do a new project here and I'm just gonna name it first song and template is the same choices that you have up up here, but I'm just going to do default. Just I'm just going to start plain old, and then I'm going to cl click create. Pod. Oh, the location is also important. So users a Farley documents music creation. This music creation folder is a folder that I created, um, you know, before I got started, so I could put everything in there. You click these little dots and put put it wherever you want. But I suggest you create a folder for you know called music creation start putting all your stuff in there all right I'm gonna click create project and I'm gonna open it so you should start you, everything should show up um, like this um, there's a couple things this, this over here is shows um, sort of the the loops that you can use that you that, excuse me that you have access to if I close that up you'll also see presets right here if I close up the presets all, you'll also see plugins that you have. Um, we're only going to use loops today, so just open up the loops. What I've been doing is, is just going right here. I want a beat. I'm going to start with a beat, so I'm just going to put beat in there in the search, and um, you can click here and listen to the beats. All right. No. You know, find one that you like. Look through them. Um, you can use your arrow key to down arrow just to go through. See what you know. Up arrow key to go up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stick with that one right there. If you like it, um, you, you can stop it and play it. You can adjust the volume here if you want, up or down. Um, but I am just going to drag this falling rain beat out and I'm going to put it on track one. There it goes. All right. So now I, now that I have something here, um, <clears throat> I have a little time marker here. I can start at the beginning and I can, I got play and rewind down here. I can hit, hit the, the play button, but I want you guys to get used to using the shortcut keys, which of course are, is the space bar. So space bar. All right, um, space bar to stop. And um, notice that my my cursor, after it played, after I stopped, after I stop it, it jumps back to the beginning here. Um, that's a setting that I have set. So if you go down here, um, you can go to, I'm hoping I can remember where this is. Oh yeah, here it is, options return to start on stop so just if you click that you'll you'll things will work the same way for you that they do for me so that's just a thing i like you know when i'm listening to stuff i want to listen to it i want to stop it uh did i unclick that yes i did wow okay click it there we go i like it yeah this behavior right here so that i can play it stop it and it goes back so i can hear it again up to you um also okay so there's my drums um and now um zoom is with the scroll wheel so i'm zooming in now and zoom out scroll wheel or if you're on a pad you have if you have a, a pad just pinching with your fingers um will will zoom in or out which is nice but what i want to do now is i'm going to zoom out Right. I want to do this button right here. This button right here is L for loop. 
So click that and you'll see that it doubles it now, makes it into a loop, and now it'll play twice. Hey, hey what happened, man? And if you want it to loop a lot of times, just pull that out and you can see how it's just looping, looping, looping. And maybe I'll just pull it out to there and I'll end it right there. So now I have that looping drums beat. All right, and now I need a little bass, okay? So now I need a little bass. I'm just gonna put bass in right here. B-A-S-S, -S, there we go. All right, sorry, I got too much stuff in front of me. Um, and again, same, just click on it. Okay, no. No. Okay, that's getting better. Okay. And there's tons of bass that you can choose from. Um, let me see, what am I going to do? Hmm. And you know, you might, okay, okay, quite down. You might need to listen to your drums. And then go back and, you know. Okay, maybe I'll go with that. Okay, I'm just drag that out. I'm gonna drop it maybe right here. Um, and then I'm gonna listen to it. Seems a little loud, so I'm gonna just to kind of turn it down here. This is the volume control right here. How you like that better, huh? All right, so setting the volume is important on, on things, so you know it sounds good. All right, and now maybe I need some guitar. Ah, actually, I'm now I'm going to uh, zoom out, and I'm just gonna make this loop. Just click the L stretch it out maybe I'll just make it loop that much all right and now I need some guitar all right some guitar and I can just listen to that ah! no God. That's not bad. So drop that, drop it in if you like it. Take a listen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that sounds good. Um, all right, maybe we'll get some other guitar going in here. Let's see, what else do we have here? that in there let's loop this one and you know hey you're having fun right now so hopefully you're having fun anyways um, so you know get crazy maybe I'll just have this come in right around here click the L and maybe just like that let's see what that sounds like It's getting boring right there, so I'm just not going to loop it right there. I want that to end. And maybe I want 
you know, I, I don't want it to go on forever like this. Maybe I just want things to go a little shorter like that. Alright, so that sounds good. Maybe I'll just do that. And and it, notice how when I was listening to it, I did go through these volumes and and made it sound good. Now may, maybe just want something. Okay, I just want to change it up a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the first thing I find there, and I'll just check that out. Cool, cool little interlude there. And now I'm just gonna grab all of this, these two loops right here. Just sort of drag your mouse to Command C, copy them, or uh, I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know where it is, but it's it's probably up here somewhere. Anyways, Command C, <laughs> or yeah, Command C. I'm gonna go right to the end of this and I'm gonna paste Command V. And so now I got, Alright, cool, I like it. Um, let's hear the end. Let's, let's just, um, just pretend I'm done and you know, I just want to listen to the end here. Okay, uh, maybe I just want this one to keep going. Maybe the drums to stop. Let's listen to that ending. Boop, 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 boop. And for the end, I'm just gonna. Right, there's a little square right here, right here. The little little triangle. Pull that over like that, and that will fade it out. And maybe I'll just have this one do the same. There, that's gonna just fade it out. And let's listen to that one more time. All right, good, good, good. I'm gonna call that done. Um, all right, and the next thing I'm gonna do is, of course, file. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, file down here. <laughs> Looking at the wrong files. That's, that's to search for things. Um, I'm gonna go down here to file, and I'm going to save edit as, and um, I'll just keep that name. Good, good, good. And then um, also file, export render to a file, and this makes it. This allows me to make it into uh, whatever I have here. So format MP3 file. I can choose WAV, AIFF. That's a CD CD quality file. MP3 is fine. I'm just going to leave that there. Um, and then um, also right here where it says file this is sort of this is the path where it's going to save it so you need to know what path this is documents music creation blah 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 blah, blah. I, I'm not, I don't want it to go there so I'm going to do browse and I'm gonna put it on my desktop okay so I can find it so for song 02 edit to export one all right it all that is automatic and I love it because it really really helps me in the long run so I'm putting it on my desktop remember you can put it wherever you want but I'm just going to put mine on my desktop so that it's there and then I'm gonna click the render button and it says render complete and now I should have on my desktop for song edit one 
export mp3 come on man come on there you are and there it is all right so i want you to play make a song make a beat all right don't you know it doesn't have to be too complicated do what you want it doesn't have to be any more complicated than mine here um, we'll learn more things as we go along but just getting uh, loops in there making them making them loop um, making it sound decent um, uh, go for it give it a try and then uh, po post your song all right post your song on the uh, on the assignment folder okay all right that's it bye bye Am I recording? I am recording. Stop recording.